What is up guys, it's Brindamaster here and welcome to today's video. If you do enjoy the video then don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment and subscribe and hit all the links up down below to Twitch and Discord. Enjoy the video. What is up everybody and welcome to day 3 of Araxa Week. Really hope you've been enjoying the videos so far. Yesterday was a bit of an up and down day if I'm honest. Um, in one hand I got the pet which is something I really did not expect to get this week. I got 46 kills as well. Um, brought my average of up to 9.2 kills now. Still not the 10 kills now which I'm kind of hoping for and aiming to be able to achieve pretty consistently. Um, but you know we've got 3 more days to hit that. I also didn't get any 300 enraged kills yesterday but I was doing what I personally consider the hardest path of minion path. Um, so hopefully it's it's changed uh, rotation now so we're on to 2-3 rotation. So I'm really hoping that with bottom middle path open I should be able to get to 300 enraged fairly easily. Um, so that's one of my goals today is be able to get to 300 in rage again. It would also be nice to get the bottom leg piece as well so I can actually get my first leg completed three days in which would be awesome. Unfortunately not going to be able to complete um, a fourth leg or second leg through this week because I didn't get lucky and get the second top part tomorrow. But I can in theory get the other, I can get a second middle and bottom so it'll put me pretty close to being able to get a second leg piece which would be awesome. Anyway let's uh, get into week two. Let's uh, Day three, let's go. And we've got the second Rax kill of the day. What are we going to get for the loot here? Baynite Stone Spirits. Yes, get in the bank. And we've got this is the 10th kill this hour, so the first hour of 10 kills, and I've got enough for one more kill. And I got myself some Serenic Scales. Unfortunately, it's paired with some overload, so uh, no nice brew drop there, but still 1.3 mil. Last kill of the first hour, only 179k, but I managed to get 11 kills that hour, which is absolutely awesome. Just Tried to get my Reaper task for the day, got Reaper's choice, so obviously going to choose Araxor. No 6 Araxor where I don't have to worry about my Masterwork degrading, as I've only got 2.3% left on it now. Okay, so I signed that kill, first sign of the day. Haven't died yet, but I mean, I guess that's technically a death. And we get some coins and some overloads. Um, yeah, I think, I don't know what enraged that was, like 240, 220, something like that. Ooh, Onyx Bolts and some Brews, nice 1.5 mil drop, nice one for the day. And we've got the first effigy of the day. Nothing particularly good, but another effigy, so who uh, who knows? That could be a missed leg roll. I think it is, but again, I've got nothing to base this on. That is, that's the first screw up of the day. I guess my uh, ring of death was uh, under 15% charge, I suppose. Uh, yes, it was. 9.8%, cool. So, uh, yep, 1.2 mil reclaim plus an eye hill. And that's my first 300% rage kill of the day, and I am oh so close to dying on that bleed. Okay, I've got 800 hit points left. We're good. We are good. And that's also Reaper task complete. 20k Slayer points, and uh, yeah, nothing. Nothing good. Just some herbs. And so that is my second hour of Rax or done. I got three minutes left on my aura, but I don't really want to do 300 in rage Rax on no aura. But yeah, I managed to do like four kills now in a row on 300%, which is pretty good. So I might uh, might just carry on with 300% next hour and save the reset for a little bit. And first drop of the third hour, still camping 300% in rage, gonna do it for as long as I can until I start dying a bit too much. And um, yeah, I got myself some brew flasks and a nice 830k drop. Very next kill, uh, second kill of the third hour, nice 1.4 mil from some Serenic Scales. So that is a full hour completed, the whole hour on 300% rage. What do we get? And we got a double on X, 5.4 mil. That is absolutely awesome. Nice way to finish out the hour. Um, double on X uh, paired with some brews. 5.4 mil. Nice. But yeah, that's a whole hour done on 300% enraged. So I would definitely count that as a success in uh, learning to camp 300 enraged. Okay, so you guys might be wondering why I'm at Artisan's Workshop during a week. Um, my custom masterwork is, is down to like 1 and 2% respectively. Uh, I'm not going to recharge the top or the gloves yet because I'm pretty sure this just gives it straight up to 100. So I want to get them as low as I possibly could. Um, so if I smith anvil, um, that's not how I do it. Maybe I use it on the anvil. Use on anvil. Yeah, there we go. Right. I hope I get XP for this because this is... Oh, I need to go get divine charges. Right, we'll be right back to the GE again. Okay, we're at a different anvil now, but I've now got the divine charges that I need to repair my augmented custom fit. Trimmed masterwork plate body, that is a mouthful and a half. And this is like 30 something mil down the drain for the top. And then about 20-ish mil down the drain for the legs. So that's about 50 mil for just the plate body and the top recharge. But there we go, full 100% charge again. That's exactly what we needed, which is awesome. First kill of hour four, and we get some rock tails. Nothing good. 
Still blowing at 300%, haven't reset my enrage at all today, which is awesome. So we just got like a 1 mil drop, and like, it wasn't even a good drop, it was just 15 brews and some herbs, and it's, yeah, over a mil, we'll take that, definitely. Okay, so we're, well, exactly halfway through the fourth hour, and I got another double onyx drop, so that's two of them today, 10 mil in onyxes, another, another big pile in the bank. Not technically an Arax or achievement, but I just hit 190 mil strength, 10 mil more to 200 mil. Didn't guess my legs to top it off, but we got some battle staffs. Another drop being carried through by the Ruse, 12 more brew flasks and 40 Hydrix bolts, 838k for the loot tab. So 10 minutes left into the hour, nearly managed to go the whole hour without signing, but I signed at the last bit. And we got another 2 Onyxes, another 5 mil. So that's 6 Onyxes we've had today, that's nice. It's starting to pay back some of the deaths that we had yesterday, which is absolutely awesome. So that's the second or third hour in a row where I've managed to get 11 kills, and I made it with 20 seconds left on the scrimshaw. And oh my god, I got the web, oh my god. That is log complete. That is actually log complete. I have got the Araxor title. Oh my god. Freaking get in there. Right, as soon as I claim this, it should be title complete. That is absolutely amazing. Friendly neighbor feat has been completed. I've got the Araxor title. Yes! Nice. So that is there. Officially Araxor log done. Ticked off complete. 454kc to complete the log. I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, in that time, I got a web, three eyes, a fang, three complete spider legs, and then obviously all of the pets, um, which is absolutely awesome. That was, yeah, that was a really, really good thing to just happen. I'm really happy with that. So I just took my first death at the 300 and rage. It took me two hours and then my first attempt this hour. And um, yeah, I got I got hit with a 4.6k mage hit and then I got cocooned on P4 and it was a pretty unpleasant combination, if I'm honest. I couldn't out-eat it. That is my fourth double onyx drop of the day. So I've got 20 mil today just in onyxes, which is absolutely awesome. And getting close to the end of my fifth hour now, I've got 12 minutes left, so probably another two kills. And I get another two ceramic scales, another 1.3 mil. Last kill, can we get a spider leg? Second leg of the day, please. And we didn't, unfortunately not. We got some, uh, we got the fake spider leg. <laughs> Uh, 225k. Well, that finishes off the five hours. Let's go get all the loot and press check it all up. So for day three, this is all of the loot I got from day three of Araxor. Um, so th we've decided to, in our tour of RuneScape banks, come to the Anachronia bank for day three of Rax Week. Um, yeah, so in my inventory, I've got all of the loot I got from today. Quite weird, I got barely any Onyx Bolts today. Like, I think I got that one drop with 112. Uh, I got like three or four coin drops, which is quite nice. Got an effigy again. Uh, obviously, I fi finished my title, which is awesome. I can now use the of the Araxite title. Got the web. I'm pretty sure the web is a loss, though, if I make it. I'm not 100% sure. On oh, my God. If you can hear that thunder in the background, that is sounding pretty aggressive right now. So I do apologize about that. So let's price check it up. I got a lot more onyxes than normal today. So we stick that one there. I got 41.3 mil today, which is awesome. Uh, like I said, 19 mil of that comes from the Onyxes, so that's like half of it, all in one go. Um, other big loots go uh, along with the Serenic Scales, 4 mil in Serenic Scales, which is nice, and 4 mil in Brews. But yeah, the big one today was the Uncut Onyxes. I also got a whole Triskillian key, frag key worth of fragments, got the three fragments, and I got a Spider Leg Bottom, which is enough now to, technically speaking, complete my Spider Leg. Um, so I might complete that at the end of the week and we can sell that off and add it to the loot. So 41 mil is pretty good. Uh, we can also now look at my kills. I started the day on 411 kills and I've now got 464. So I managed a massive 53 kills today in 5 hours, which I can confirm doesn't take much mass for me to actually work this out. But I did average over the 10 kills per hour that I wanted to today, which... I'm very, very happy with, which is awesome. Um, so we're going to the next slide now, and we will break it all down for you. So now we get on to the breakdown bit. So today I managed 53 kills, which works out as 10.6 kills now, which is pretty awesome. I'm very happy that I got over the 10 kill per hour mark. Uh, not far off averaging 11 kills now, but I don't think I'll be able to increase much more over that, as 11 kills was my maximum I managed in any hour. Um, it is more than yesterday, where I only got 46 kills and 9.2 kills per hour. And um, the, the drops reflects that, the fact that I got like an extra 7 kills. Uh, I got 41.3 mil rather than 37.9 mil. 
The fact that I got increased kills as well definitely added into the GP rate. I managed to average 8.26 mil per hour in drops, which is pretty awesome. And then when you include the leg piece, which um, I managed to not record the clip for, yep, that's a big F in chat. Um, that's 18.26 mil GP per hour if you include the value of a leg piece. The GP per kill, however, is a little bit lower. It's about 50k lower than yesterday. Yesterday was 823k. Uh, today it was 779k. And that shows that the extra profit basically came from more kills rather than better loot. But then again, if you include the leg piece, the loot once again was 1722k per hour, so 1.7 mil. Um, so that's pretty awesome. So that's another very, very successful day. And it does mean I completed the log and I managed to complete a spider leg, which is pretty awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed day three of Racks Week and stay tuned for day four coming in tomorrow.